Hey guys, it's Trouble Lobster coming at you review of the set we've all been waiting for. It is the one, the only UNSC Pelican. Now, before I get started, I just want to say if you're it's sixty dollars, so if you think it's a ripoff, it is definitely not a ripoff. It is worth it. I tried going to a bunch of different stores, but I couldn't find it, so I finally ordered it off of Amazon, and it came yesterday. But it was really late, so I, I it was the lighting wouldn't wouldn't have been good for recording this review. But anyways, it is for those of you who are want to buy it. I'm just warning you, it is a long build. It's about four hours. That's how long it took me and all the other reviews I've seen. And uh, it is tricky too. Like the bottom right here, when you build the base of it, that is pretty tricky. It keeps falling apart whenever you put a new piece on. Then, the wings, these two right here, they're pretty hard. Those black ones right here, they aren't so hard. But everything else is kind of tricky. But anyways, I'll get on to that stuff later, but here's the manual. It is a mammoth. Look at, this is my hand. It's, it's huge, it's freaking huge. So anyways, if I can fix this, I can fix my manual, there we go, okay, you've got a cool battle scene of all the new sets right here, uh, like the new, the new and improved ghost, and then the rocket hog, and uh, wraith, I'm planning on getting the locust with the goss hog, whatever that is on here, ah, right there, and uh, yeah, you have all that, that cool illustration, it is 30 pages long, 37 pages actually, if I can get there, there we go. And you may think that's that's short, Trouble Lobster. What are you saying? But there is a whole lot of crap on just one page. I'm telling you that right now. It's only it's tricky. My only complaint about Mega Bloks is um instruction manuals is like Lego. They kind of have a different type of style that I like better. I'm not trying to explain it. But Mega Bloks has these lines and these colors that the lines are confusing, but the colors can help you. But it's 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 not the best, but I'll roll with it. Then right here you've got this cool illustration and just telling you thank you for purchasing this legendary set and everything. And that's it. Scoot this over there. Now there are two mistakes actually. There are two mistakes in the manual. But they are kind and courteous enough to give you corrections. This is step thirty one. It's the correction and then Step 42. Now, um, I just thought that this was the only flaw in the manual. So I didn't see 37. So I had to go back and do that. And that wasn't very fun. So be aware that there are two sides. And don't end up like me. Okay, now the box. You've got this cool illustration right here. All over the place. You've got the Spartans and everything. You want to see Pelican. Set number 10, you got all that cool stuff. And you got this cool picture right here, too. But on the back, that's where a lot of cool stuff is. Okay, so first of all, you see there's all the features and all that stuff. The huge. But then you get a uh, yellow high bush of Spartan, two UNSC Spartans, and a pilot. But the Spartans are yellow, just to let you know. And it's got the sets right here. Like I said, I'm getting the Locust next. But, um, and you got the blueprints right there. Camouflage exclusive brick, even though every set comes with an exclusive brick. You got the guy sitting. Right here it says UNSC Pelican Dropship. A mainstay of the UNSC military, the Pelican Dropship's primary role is to deliver troops, equipment, and weaponry to and from forward combat positions, making them an essential tool in the war against the Covenant. The Pelican can deploy or evacuate UNSC forces within moments of landing thanks to its easily accessible rear bay door. And that's that. Nothing on the bottom. Got that cool guy on the side. And if you notice, it doesn't say Halo Wars anymore. It says Halo, the Authentic Collector series. Minor change. Minor change. I guess that's because these aren't just in Halo Wars. They're in every Halo game. But I don't know their reasons. Okay, so. The four minifigures. My only complaint about the minifigures isn't about the minifigures themselves, it's about the number of them. They could have had more, if you ask me. They they could have had some, like, not more UNSC, but Covenant. Because most of these sets don't have Covenant in them. 
except the Covenant ones themselves. But even then, they don't come with much. But they do. They did need like at least an elite or something in here. But they don't have one. But anyways, you get two of these regular Spartans that come in every set. But they're yellow. I don't have any yellow. I kind of battle damaged yellow. He comes with a rocket launcher. He has articulation in his head. His um elbows. No, his shoulders. His elbows. Waist, knees, and that is it. And he got his, he has his little peg hole right there. The other one is the exact same. He just comes with a shotgun. Okay. Next is my favorite out of this whole set. The Hayabusa Spartan. Um, I know there is an orange one in the Wraith, but I haven't had the opportunity to get the Wraith, so I don't have him. But it's nice to have one now. He is really cool. He looks exactly like the Hayabusa's. Even has the shoulder. Well, whoops. He has the shoulders, the head, everything, and he has his katana sword. They could have done a better job on how to hold it, so it kind of be like diagonal, like they are in the games and everything. But no, and he can hold this, by the way. He can hold the sword if you really want him to. He even shows it in the box right there. Then he comes with your standard assault rifle that comes in every set. This guy, I think, is exclusive to the set. I think he might come in the short sword, but I'm not sure. He's the pilot. He's really cool. I like him a lot. Same articulation as everybody. But you can actually see his face right there. Well, not his face. His chin and his mouth and his nose. He's got a cool helmet. Nice body right there. He's got a peg hole in the back. Nice. Nice detail. And he comes with this pistol. If I can take that off. Which is really cool. I don't think that this, this came in any other set. But it's the pistol. That's really cool. So I like that. Okay, let me get that out of the way. Now on to the pelican itself. And, might I say, it is actually heavy. It weighs a couple pounds. I have to use two hands sometimes. Okay. Now most Mega Box sets are not very sturdy. But this one is very, very sturdy. When you put it all together, it's very sturdy. If I can... There is a whole lot of stickers, though. Like, there's stickers everywhere. And they added some clear pieces right there to give it the floating, or hovering kind of effect. But anyways, you get this opening cockpit with a chair. See if I can get my guy in there, get him into his position. Okay. Move his hand. There we go. It's nice and snug in there, and you can kind of see him. There's a glare, though, so sorry about that. He has um, a 50, 70 cal, I think it says in the description. A machine gun here and a second antenna. So that that's nice. Um, He has these, the wings. They go 360, but it'll hit the ground, so I can't do that. It has these flaps. Uh, the same. This side does the same thing. Let me see if I can get a better under view kind of hard to see but I think you can see this you can see the engines right there the turbine engines or whatever they are uh, you got the ones right here for hovering then right here if you flip this down it's hard to see let me see if I can get a light in there hold on there you can see it right there there's um hidden turbines same thing on the other side so that's cool and um, these engines right here the back ones, they are 362, and it has this little flap right here, that's for like, braking or something, there's a little flap, both of them have those engines right there, and then ones on the very bottom, let's see if I can get those, okay, I'm putting my camera upside down, no, I can't get them, but there's some on the bottom, for hovering as well, now for some cool stuff, in the very bottom, let me see. This ramp here comes down. And you can fit guys in there. Let me see. Can you see? No. It's time for the light again. Not the digital. Okay. Yeah, you can see the the bay door in there. I used to have this light that can get in depth. Okay. Let's see here. Okay, hold on. Okay, I just have to keep it like this. But you can see there's the bay door. You can see some chairs in there. But I'll get to another cool feature about that in a second. And right here, the cool part, a, well, a cool part, the whole thing's pretty cool. 
We have this little nudge. You flip that open, and oh my gosh, you can go inside. So yeah, you can see in there. Let me get a better upper view. There's four seats. So I could take, for instance, this guy. If I can sit him in his position. I could sit him right in here. And there's a little nudge in the middle so he, he won't fall out. Then I could take this other guy. Let me get his rocket launcher out. Put him his legs in the right position. And sit him down. And Hayabusa, he's kind of hard to see because of his katana. So you have to kind of flip it like I do. You have to put it sideways so it doesn't clash with anything. But other than that, you get him in a sitting position. Put his arms out so he doesn't get caught in some stuff. And sit him down. And there you go, you got four or three suited Spartans. And that's really cool. Now, if you're wondering, let me see if I can pick this up. I don't know, maybe too heavy. Okay, I got it. Um, you may you may be wondering if it can fit a warthog, or something like they do in the game, but that is not true. Oh, uh, you, you well actually it may be. I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's what this little groove is for. But I don't know. You could try that out and get back to me on that. Okay, <clears throat> so that's it. That is the UNSC Pelican. Once again, $60. Very cool set. I really like it a lot. I recommend that you get it. But please rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.